2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A quick peek into the locker room as the players get set for the game ahead. Looking to make a big splash here tonight. Thanks for joining 2K Sports for NBA action this Sunday afternoon. I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Hey, Brian. Well, Damian Lillard talked about his clutch gene. He said, quote, I never think there's a game that I can't take control of. When I'm out there, I feel how hard the defense is trying to stop me, regardless of how I'm shooting the ball. I want to show them why they should be worried and why they should be on edge. Brian? Golly, always a threat. Thanks for that. And the Lakers starting five. LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Rui Achimura. And it's Reeves in a shooting guard. And for the Trailblazers, Lillard and Simons are the one and the two. Jeremy Grant out there with Nasir Little. And it's Eubanks in at the five. And here in the middle of the season, these teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all about, Grant. Well, oftentimes, that's what happens. I mean, these guys have had the time to gel and get to know how they like to play. And at this point, it's all about going out night after night and just executing. Now here's Simons. Here's Little. Three-pointer off the mark. And here are the Lakers. Pass to Achimura. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Simons. Knocked loose. Outside for Davis. Here's Russell. They get the rebound. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. The ball just finds AD. It's no more apparent than when he's attacking the glass. You know, Anthony Davis has had his share of injury struggles, having to miss valuable games at times. Davis, no good on that free throw. You know, the thing with AD, he's always bounced back from his injuries. I totally agree with you, B.A. It's a true credit to his resiliency, physically and mentally as well. Now here's Russell. Pass to Achimura. Here's Davis. Lays it up and banks it in. You see the weight that AD's added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. And here's Simons. Lillard left side. Rebound, Anthony Davis. The Lakers have gone two of three from the floor. James with the ball. Picked up by Grant. The putback. It's good on the putback. The team relies on Davis for this. Keeping the play alive and finishing at the rim. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Lillard against Russell. Here's Eubanks. Portland, no good that time either. 0 for 4 to start this game. Some of it's execution, and some of it's just bad luck. Here's Reeves, and the Lakers tack on two more. You don't expect them to bust out the spin move, but that adds to the element of surprise. Pass to Little. Back to Lillard. To end the run. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
Looking at players with limitless range, Grant. Damian Lillard, right at the top of that list. Oh, B.A. And Lillard, he can just make it look so easy. He gets a lot of his strength on his shots and his legs. On the short list for players you don't mind pulling up from the logo. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. It was so bad to see Damian Lillard, one of the most durable players of the past decade, to miss so much of the 2021-22 season. And both free throws good for Lillard. And for a player like Lillard, who never missed significant time. An injury like that can pose challenges, Smitty. But he embraced the B.A. It was a time to step back, evaluate his game, and get his mind fresh. Sometimes a reset like that can make a great player like Dane even better. And Davis slams it home. Timeout, timeout. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now, starting the game the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. And the Trailblazers call time here. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Over the previous month, we look at the best when it comes to scoring. Second, Damian Lillard. LeBron James, third. This month has been a memorable one for both of these players. Just lighting up the nets and getting it done on offense. The Trailblazers have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Lillard passes to Simons. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Nails it from beyond the arc. And the lead comes off the basket after four straight misses. They finally get one. Pass to Reeves. Russell with the ball. The shot misses, and it's Portland the other way. Home court didn't seem to help last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. They were out-hustled on the boards the last time these teams met. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the stripe. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. You know, this Lakers team is running with one of the most veteran squads in the league, Smitty. Tons of experience and wisdom on their bench. These are all battle-tested guys, B.A., who know how to overcome tough situations and win games. Physical gifts Anthony Davis possessed are just undeniable. He was built to cause havoc down low with his long arms and broad build. Here's Little. 
In his last outing, eight points for him. Lillard outside. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Just two to shoot. Little shot is good. Well, Damian Lillard is such an intelligent playmaker. He sees an opening and dishes the ball. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. Now here's Davis. Tries again. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Back to Lillard. Grant against James. Grant outside. Pass to Simons. Russell with the rebound. The Lakers have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Hachimura outside. Here's Reeves. Outside Davis. James inside. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Eubanks. Simons outside. The three is up. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Now Simons. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. Gotta be mindful of Anthony Simons. He looks to score close to the rim whenever he can. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, I mean, to get a shot like that on a drive, oh, it's those type of plays that will chip away at the lead. Now, here is James. And on offense, he's been a force, scoring over 30 a game. Back to Achimura. <laughs> Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, Blazers fans have been having a bit of whiplash. Western Conference Finals to the lottery in just three years. NBA injuries had a big part to play in that. Shows how fast the NBA landscape can change. Fans are hoping they can get back to what they were just as quickly. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Over the years, no team in the NBA has had more star power than the Lakers. They always have at least one future Hall of Famer on the roster. Here's Little. He's got five with the 10-footer, and he gets it to go. Timeout, timeout. Little's got seven points. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. You know, when we talk about the Lakers, you expect them to have a superstar. B.A., starting with Wilt in the 60s, then Kareem during the 70s, Magic dominating the 80s, and more recently Shaq and Kobe, LeBron and AD, the biggest names flock to LA. Dance time in 
for the Watford's checked in for Portland. For Los Angeles, they've got 8 of 13 attempts to go. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. To the paint. Grant with a steal. Now Lillard. Here's Watford. Shoots over Davis. And that one's long. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Hachimura outside. Pass to Russell. Just five on the clock. And James launches it from deep. Offensive rebound, Davis. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Davis has got 15. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Grant with it. On the wing, Simons. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. He's giving us all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Here's Reeves. Pass to Achimura. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. And the Blazers have been a mainstay of the playoffs for so long, up until last year. Yeah, B.A., they ended an eight-year streak by missing the playoffs. The franchise has had a lot of sustained success. They missed the playoffs just 15 times in their 50-plus years. The Lakers making a switch here. Bamba's checked in for Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for LeBron. Beasley's checked in for Reeves. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. Free throw no good for Achimura. And the rise of the internet has helped give players their own voice. But now with podcasts and other streams... Grant, they're also able to monetize their voice. Yeah, players understand the value of their voice and also how to monetize that. Speaking directly to their fans, to their customers, using these different platforms. You know, I think broadcasters need I think you and I need to have a podcast, B.A. For sure. I know we can't afford to. <laughs> that might be true. That one falls. Yeah, they're getting pummeled on the offensive board so far. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Vanderbilt with the block. Schroeder against Johnson. Here's Vanderbilt. And it's Portland with a rebound. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession. Except for the result. And the call will be against Mo Bamba. That's his first foul of the game. Walker, he's checked in for the Lakers. Timeout called, Portland. A year in, a year out, there's one thing we know for certain about the Blazers. They've got some of the best fans in the NBA. Who wants to update their fit tonight with a free t-shirt? Make a little noise.
And it's the Blazers with the ball. It's a 13-point game. Here's Reddish. Portland again missing. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Now here's Beasley. He's closely guarded. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. And the Lakers lead by 15. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Johnson passes to Reddish. Back to Johnson. Here's Sharp. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Right side, Reddish. Fires the three. The rebound by Bamba. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Beasley. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Jared Vanderbilt. That's his first foul of the game. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And the Blazers making a change here. Knox is checked in. Knox the second. Portland has gone just one of six from downtown. And here's Johnson. Pass to Watford. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Mo Bamba. At the line for Portland, Trenton Watford. At the line for two. First free throw is good. The Lakers making a switch here. Davis has checked in. That one misses. On offense, here are the Lakers. They're on a 16-7 run. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Beasley's got five. Yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Pass to Sharp. Now here's Reddish. Walker covering. Here's Sharp. Outside Johnson. Six to shoot. Portland again missing. So it's the Lakers now. They lead by 17. Here's Vanderbilt. And the lamp is good off the glass. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Pass to Sharp. And here's Reddish. Driving inside. The kick out to Johnson. Here's Watford. No good that time. Excellent D there from Davis. Now here's Beasley. The three is up. And the Lakers hit again from deep. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Johnson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Knox, guarded by Vanderbilt. Second personal foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. It's all about the fire they're playing with early on. Crashing the boards and the result, second chance points. And also, I haven't seen Take a lot a of resistance from the defense when it comes to limiting their points in transition. The first one falls.
So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. And Beasley gets it to go on the assist by Walker. Beasley's got ten points in the game. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Pass to Reddish from the arc. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got 15 rebounds here tonight. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Now here's Johnson. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Some solid D from Beasley. The Lakers dominating the game. Walker passes to Schroeder. Pass to Davis. 11 feet out. That shot, no good. That'll count. That shot off the mark. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. They've kept their concentration on limiting Damian Lillard. And it's been working. We'll be right back after this word. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. And so in the game for Los Angeles, LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Then it's Rui Achimura, then it's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. Here's Reeves. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Clock at six. James, right side, over Grant. They grab their own miss. Davis misses from close range. On offense, here are the Trailblazers. Shot is up. Simon's shot is good. Simon's got his second basket. So smooth with the jump shot. I love watching Anthony shoot the rock. James, outside. Pass to Russell. Down low. And Davis slams it home. I love the assertive play from Anthony Davis so far, refusing to back down on the offensive end. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Simons outside. Let's it fly. The Lakers with a rebound. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Some players just need an opportunity to succeed. Take Anthony Simons. With increased playing time during the 2021-22 season, we saw him take off. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Pass to Simons. Now Graham. Yes, it's good. Well, for Simons during the 21-22 season, Smitty injuries opened the door. And B.A., not just any injuries. Portland was without Dame Lillard and C.J. McCollum most of that season. And Simons filled the void. His scoring went up about 10 points per game. Overall, though, they've taken good care of the ball. That's their first turnover. Bombas checked in for Anthony Davis. Russell against Lillard. Pass to Simons. 
It doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. The three from Russell. Here's Bamba. Shots blocked. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. The Lakers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. James passes to Bamba. Here's Russell. Here's Reeves. From behind the arc. And Russell is good for three. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Simons passes to Thibel. Over to the wing. Lillard finds Thibel. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Simons. Looking to get back on track. He got a piece of it. The struggle is real. He's been way off with this shot all evening long. Here's Reeves. Here's Hachimura. The short one's on the money. Hachimura's got seven points. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Lillard passes to Simons. Back to Lillard. Here's Eubanks. Covered by Bamba. Now here's Thibel. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Hachimura with the ball. Thibel picks him up. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. Well, that was clearly a foul. You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadalla in Golden State, it really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. And the second free throw is good. And Portland's shooting a tough 22% from the field so far. Pass to Thibel. Back to Simons. Now Lillard. The three. Sends it home from three-point land. He's got five. A volume three-point shooter. Lillard's confidence is what makes him so dangerous from deep. Here's Reeves. Russell from outside. And again, no good by the Lakers. And it's Simons missing. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Out to Achimura. Pass to Reeves. Outside Russell. Now Achimura. Cash money on the open jump shot. Achimura's got 10 points. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Back to Lillard. Right wing. Simons outside. Shoots from the line. Rebound the Lakers. Bamba's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. James uses the glass to finish the layup. James has gotten his second bucket of the game. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Pass to Thibel. Back to Lillard. The three. Drops in the three. 
Lillard's got six in the quarter. When Lillard gets set up like this, it's more or less over. He knocks down a lot of daggers. Here's Reeves. Fires for three. That bucket makes him three for five. Timeout, timeout. Mm. Exchanging buckets three from downtown. Points. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Timeout called, Portland. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness, one team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Littles checked in for Thibel. Portland has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Simons outside. Pass to Little. Here's Eubanks, covered by Bamba. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. LeBron with the rebound. James has got four rebounds in the game. Now Russell. Hachimura outside. Back to Russell. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. He is so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency, but the talent is all there. D'Angelo Russell taking two shots. Free throw is good from Russell. Watford's checked in for Portland. And both free throws good for Russell. The Trailblazers have gone four of ten from the field in the second. Pass to Little. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And it's Jeremy Grant with a foul. That's his third foul so far. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Sharps checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Schroeder, he's checked in for Russell. The Lakers have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. From about 19, James. That's good. James has got four points in the quarter. What we can't talk about enough with LeBron, the tremendous body control. You see it there on the pull-up. No one can make headlines like LeBron. There was a ton of buzz when he talked about teaming up with his son in the NBA someday. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. We should live in the present, be respectful of those records, but also be willing to adjust when it makes sense. B.A.? All right, thanks, Allie. You know, whether it happens or not, I think everyone would like to see LeBron and his son play together, Smitty. B.A., I think it would be one of the coolest things to take place in the league. We've seen it in other sports, but for it to happen in the NBA, it would be awesome. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Los Angeles has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. 
Pass to Reeves. Launches a three. And they get it back. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Jeremy Grant. The defense is all over LeBron, so he gets physical to ensure he's fouled while shooting. The first free throw is good. You know, at this point, I think we can call LeBron James timeless. The seasons change, but his game stays strong. He's a rare talent. Reddish has checked in for Grant. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Beasley comes in for Achimura. Both free throws good from James. Here's Lillard. Last game out, he had 38 points. Pass to Little. Here's Sharp. Here's Watford, guarded by Vanderbilt. Shot clock at six. Here's Sharp. Shoots over Beasley. No good, a bit long that time. Puts up a three, and count it. Now five for seven. The awareness of LeBron knows where everyone is on the floor at all times. Pass to Sharp. Back to Lillard. Outside Reddish. Three-pointer. The rebound by Beasley. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Now here's Vanderbilt. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Sharp. With the teardrop, counted. Sharp's got five points now this quarter. Los Angeles has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Pass to Schroeder. The layup off target. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. Reddish against Schroeder. Offensive rebound. Here's Little. And here's Reddish. There's the triple. That one doesn't drop. <laughs> this is a game he'd like to forget. And the worst part is bringing down the whole squad. Beasley outside. Outside Vanderbilt. Pulls up. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Off the left rim and out. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Now here's Reddish. Tightly guarded. Pass to Sharp. 143 left in the half. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got five rebounds tonight. Beasley for three. Goes back up. And there's a nice layup by James. James has got 10. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Watford, guarded by Vanderbilt. Pass to Little, out to the right wing. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got eight rebounds in the game. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. When you make contact with LeBron, you often feel it more than he does. Here's Sharp. Oh. 
Outside Reddish. Pass to Sharp. Now here's Lillard for three. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Reeves. Shoots from 14. James can't get that one to fall. And Portland's shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Lillard left side. Hits the front of the rim and out. James outside from 13. James can't get that one to fall. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. The Lakers on top, delivering the blowout. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 17 points, three assists, and a monster amount of rebounds. He came in with something to prove tonight after having a very tough outing in their last game. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Their passing was clearly superior. They were playing a good game, not one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy lead to show. Shaq, how do you think Portland played? Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting good the Allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I've had at least 30 by now, guys. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Lillard and Simons are the one and the two. Then it's Drew Eubanks. Then it's Nasir Little. And it's Knox in at the power forward position. That's the group starting the second half for Chauncey Billups. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Pass to Knox. Here's Little. Fires the three. The Lakers with a rebound. James has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Inside. And finished off by Davis. We've seen a lot of that through the years. A.D. getting to the rim and finishing with bad intentions. Back to Lillard. Pass to Simons. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. I think Simons wanted the whistle. He goes inside and makes havoc. the line for your Trailblazers. And two shots. And that one falls for Simons. Such an explosive talent. Anthony Simons can carry your offense in stretches when you need that. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Knox. Oh. 
And so Simons nails both of them. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. And there's the call on Rui Achimura. That's his first foul. Check this out. That's only their second turnover tonight. They've kept great control of the Rock. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Yeah, obviously he has the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. And Portland's shooting a tough 22% from the field so far. Here's Little. Hachimura covering. Simons with it. Let's go with a three. Fires in the triple. Simons has got five points now this quarter. We've seen Afrini go for 40% from deep for an entire season. You know this man can shoot it. Very pretty alley-oop. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. Simons outside. Lillard fires away from way outside. The Lakers with a rebound. James with the ball. He's got 12. Hachimura outside. Pass to Reeves. Now Davis. He's covered by Simons. Off the pick and roll, AD used his size and took full advantage. Lillard against Russell. And Lillard gets it to go. Lillard's got 10 points in the game. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Outside Russell. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Simons. Back to Russell. Jacks up a three. Offensive board. Davis. Got to be careful how you guard Davis. Given his size, he uses it to absorb contact. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, good from Davis. Walker, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Free throws good from Davis. For Portland, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Simons outside. Back to Lillard. Here's Eubanks. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And it's Simons missing. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Here's Russell. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And what has made D'Lo a max player? He puts constant pressure on the defense. Shooting for Los Angeles, D'Angelo Russell. Taking Shoot two. two. And he drops it first. And the Lakers making a change here. Bamba's checked in. And he makes both free throws. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Portland has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Lillard. Here's Little. 
And here's Grant. It's covered by Bamba. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Grant. The Lakers have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Now Bamba. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Portland grabs the miss. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And that one's good. Lillard, a jack of all trades, Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. How about the last couple of years for Jeremy Grant? B.A., 6'8", playing the three or the four. He's really found some comfort in scoring the basketball, followed up his best season with another great offensive performance last year. Clock at six. Walker for three. That falls. Nice Ronnie assist Walker by Russell. Three. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Now here's Lillard. He's got 12. There's Simons with a three. Hits the three-pointer. Simons has got eight points in the quarter. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Russell against Lillard. Russell to pass to Achimura. Back to Russell. Pass to Achimura. From deep three-point range, it's cleared by Damian Lillard. We all know he's a good shooter, but from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. Los Angeles has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Lonnie Walker IV is an athletic guard and a confident three-point shooter, Smitty. B.A., I like that he has leaned in to becoming a volume perimeter shooter as of late. Realizing that he can be very valuable shooting the ball. Shooting two. And he makes a first. So for the Blazers, Thibel, he's checked in for Little. And it's Johnson in for Damian Lillard. And so he makes both from the line. Portland has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Simons outside. Back to Johnson. Outside Thibel. To the right side. Simons outside. Shoots over Walker. And it's Simons missing. The Lakers have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Walker finds Davis. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. Davis has got 10 points in just the second half. The Trailblazers have gotten only four of 10 shots to fall so far in the third. Outside Johnson. Davis with the defensive effort. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And it's Hachimura missing. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Bamba. Here's Russell. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Los Angeles. I just love how they're taking advantage of their chances to run, and they're pushing it. Fast break points can win you ball games. 
Yeah, all throughout the game, the opposition hasn't the been lane. able to keep them Find off the, the glass. And they're paying One for shot. it, giving up second chance points. And the Blazers making a change here. Watford's checked in. Well, Portland's shooting just 36% in the third. Outside Johnson. Now Simons. 12 points for him. Grant's shot is off. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Outside Russell. Back to Davis. Over Johnson. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Russell. Davis has got 29 points. They haven't looked like themselves the last few possessions. They haven't. This is when they really need to be patient and get a clean look. Now here's Stiebel. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Simons. Six on the shot clock. From deep. Walker pulls down the board. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Beasley outside. Launches it. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. Walker's got three assists now in this one. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Now here's Stiebel. Outside Johnson. Pass to Simons. From downtown. Sinks it from distance. Simons has got 11 points in the quarter. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Beasley outside. Back to Walker. Drives to the hoop. And no good. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Davis hits. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Simons outside. Pass to Watford. And here's Thibel. Outside Johnson. No good on the triple. Los Angeles has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Davis misses. Well, Portland's shooting only 25% from the floor. Not great. Thibel on the wing. Guarded by Russell. Here's Watford. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Los Angeles has gone two for five from three since halftime. Pass to Walker. Up top, Davis. Shoots from 14. It's not going to go for him. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Simons outside. Out to the right wing. There's the three. The shot by Johnson. No good. He's been scoreless for a while now. They're still trailing here. They might want to move to some other options offensively. And Davis slams it home. Yes, what a beautiful play, and it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Outside Johnson. Pass to Watford. Up and over Russell. And the shot is good. Drop it in off the front of the rim. And here's Russell. 12 points for him. Now here's Walker. Back to Russell. Here's Bamba. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. So for the Blazers, Knox, he's checked in for Grant. Reddish comes in for Thibel. And it's Sharp in for Simons. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Schroeder comes in for Walker. One shot. Ooh. 
And here's Portland. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Beasley against Reddish. Now here's Johnson. The D's right on him. Shoots over Schroeder. Johnson with a bucket. Now here's Schroeder. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Back to Beasley. This one for three. The shot that time not on target. And it's Portland the other way. Johnson against Schroeder. Now here's Johnson. Defense is right there. And that one's good. Knox. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. Up top, Schroeder. Covered by Johnson. Pass to Bombo. Beasley outside. Back to Bomba. And here is Vanderbilt. Five to shoot. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. LeBron, he's checked in for Russell. Jared Vanderbilt at the line for one. One shot. The free throw drops for Vanderbilt. Well, the Trailblazers shooting just 28%. Lacking confidence on offense right now. Back to Johnson. Pass to Sharp. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Malik Beasley. Second team foul. At the line for your trailblazers. Sharp. And he knocks down the first one. Lillard's checked in for Portland. Both good from the line that time. Los Angeles has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. James passes to Beasley. 19 seconds left in the third quarter. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second personal foul. At the line for the Lakers, Malik Beasley. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the Blazers making a change here. And that's good as he hits both shots. Nine seconds left to play in the third. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Sure, from three-point range. Lillard's got 15. Dame Lillard can untie your shoes with moves like that. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. And he's already notched a double-double. He'll look to continue this strong play in the next quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. 
And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Troy Brown out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Malik Beasley. Then it's Mo Bamba. And it's Schroeder in at the point. Here's Archie Diacono. Misses the fadeaway inside. Beasley outside. Here's Brown. No good on the shot. And it's Portland the other way. Pass to Sharp. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. <laughs> oh, man. Talk about hang time. What a wicked double clutch finish. Hey, when you have that kind of space, you're allowed to get fancy. Now here's Brown. Schroeder finds Vanderbilt. Outside Schroeder. Using his post moves to get the two points. And Schroeder undaunted inside. Took the defense head on and made the tough shot. Outside Reddish. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Pass to Sharp. And Smitty in the NBA, we know that coaches are often the fall guys. But when you see players say, coach wouldn't let me be me, too easy? Well, B.I., I think, you know, you have to take it uh, case by case. The one thing I would say, everybody has to be a pro in organizations. Those are the organizations and individuals that usually succeed. The first free throw is good. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. And the Blazers making a change here. Thibel's checked in. Gabriel, he's checked in for the Lakers. Walker comes in for Beasley. Second free throw, no good. Well, the Lakers shooting a solid 53% from the floor. It's Walker on the wing, covered by Thibel. Left side, Vanderbilt. Fades and shoots. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Pass to Knox. To the inside, Eubanks. And he bangs it home with one hand. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Here's Walker. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Brown with it. Over Sharp. And he recovers it. Big offensive board. They can milk that clock even more now. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. Johnson, he's checked in for Sharp. Team foul. Now the lineup for your Trailblazers. Deion Johnson. Up top, Walker. He shoots it. The Lakers with another miss. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Outside Thibel. To the paint. That shot is good by Archie Diacono. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. 
These guys are putting in the work inside. Schroeder passes to Brown. Back to Schroeder. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. Here's Archie Diacono. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Kevin Knox, the second. Two shots. Two. Two. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. The Lakers have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Outside, Brown. Back to Schroeder. Outside, Vanderbilt. It's Walker on the wing. Just five to shoot. Shot from 16. Drained it for two points. Recently, we've seen a few super teams put together, but it hasn't always been an automatic recipe for success. Man. Well, B.A., a lot of times you see those super teams on paper. It's all about execution on the floor. And the biggest factor that sometimes hampers super teams is health, and that could be a big factor in upsetting your plans. So it's the Lakers now. The Blazers making their last shot. Walker against Johnson. They get it back. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Vanderbilt's got four points this quarter. This is all about effort on the glass, and they haven't had it. <laughs> Outside Johnson. Pass to Archidiacono. Outside Dibble. Here's Knox. Takes a three. Schroeder with a rebound. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Outside, Brown. Outside, Walker. From deep. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. 11 feet out. That one off the back iron and out. The Lakers shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. The shot from the low post is good. Walker's got nine points here in the second half. More of a score first point guard, but Schroeder doing a good job of finding the open band. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. Outside Tybal. Here's Archie Diacono. Outside Johnson. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. You know, at the 2021 draft, there wasn't much doubt that Keon Johnson was the best athlete in the class. Elite is the word you hear to describe his physical gifts. Watford's checked in for Portland. Walker comes in for Thibel. Reed's checked in for the Lakers. One shot. One shot. The free throw drops for Johnson. 
You know, when it comes to Johnson's athleticism, that really comes into play on defense. B-A-Y, he's high energy, he's tough, and he's active. And with the motor he's got, he never stops working at that end. He's going to be a defensive stopper in this league for a long time. Now here's Schroeder. They get it again. Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt slams it in. And that's a double-double for him now. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts, well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Here's Walker. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Man, coach is going to have a few words with him after that shot. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. The Trailblazers have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. When a team is underperforming, coaches are often the first people called into question. Is that fair, Smitty? Uh, in some cases, it is fair, but I'll break it down like this, B.A. It always starts at the top. From coaching to your best players, they're always going to get the blame. Good on the shot. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. After putting up zeros in the first half, he is making up for it big time now. Pass to Reed. Up top, Brown. Now here's Vanderbilt. Here's Reed. Let's it go from 14. The shot comes out. Now the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Inside. And that one's good. Knox. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Schroeder with it. Pass to Reed. Back to Schroeder. Soft touch off the glass. When you combine his quickness and his ball handling, Dennis is very elusive. Outside Johnson. Here's Archer Diacono. Outside Walker. Counted from distance. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Outside, Brown. Pass to Reed. From outside the arc. That one is off. And it's Portland the other way. Here's Archie Diacono. Now here's Johnson. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting, kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Now here's Walker. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Schroeder. Almost converts despite the contact. At the line for Portland, Deion Johnson. At the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. The free throw drops for Johnson. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Beasley's checked in for Los Angeles. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Brown. 
Here's Reed, covered by Johnson. Let's it fly. And again, no good by the Lakers. Walker passes to Johnson. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Beasley. The Lakers shooting it well, almost 50% from the floor. Here's Reed. And in this era, we see some stars asking out, saying we don't have enough to win. Smitty, that's not the old school approach, is it? It's not, B.A., but what I would tell you now was totally different than the past. It's the length of contract. You have players now and teams that have the option after one, two, or three years, so it definitely will be a lot of movement. Here's Archie Diacono. Rebound, the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Pass to Reed. And here's Brown. Beasley outside. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Here's Archie Diacono. He's guarded by Beasley. Puts up the eight-footer. Vanderbilt with the block. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Lakers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Anthony Davis. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. And that one's good. Knox. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Now here's Brown. Pass to Reed. Here's Beasley. Right side Vanderbilt. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers. Jared Vanderbilt taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Sharp. Now here's Walker. We've got 13 seconds left in the game. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Troy Brown picks one up. Team foul. At the line for your trailblazers. Walker taking two shots. Free throw good. Walker. And both free throws good for Walker. Here's Beasley.
So we see the Lakers taking the W here. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Anthony, it was a great team victory tonight. What satisfied you most about this win? Uh, we just played hard. You know, we just played for each other. The ball was moving, wasn't sticking. And, you know, God made the right plays. You know, and that's what we've been doing all night, all season. And you know, I'm just glad we came out with the win. Selfless basketball is a beautiful thing, guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later.